Hi students, this is Dr. Badrinath and uh, today's topic is protein drugs. Yes, you heard it correctly. Protein drugs. So by seeing the title clearly, definitely you will get a doubt. Protein drugs. Pro either the, it is a protein a title or the title is drug. What it is? Definitely you will get a doubt. I, uh, you will think that it is a wrong title also. Uh, no, actually that is a correct title. You heard it correctly. It is a protein drug. It is a protein also. It is a drug also. It is having a characteristic of a protein. It is having a characteristic of a drug also. Keep in your mind. It is a protein having a medicinal property. Okay. It is a medicine having a protein characteristics. Okay. You got the clearly now picture. Yeah. Right. So this protein drugs is also called as a therapeutic protein. Because it is having a drug, it is a medicine. It is a medicine. That's why we are using to heal the diseases, various diseases, disorders. So that's why this is we are using for therapeutic purpose. That's why this is called as a therapeutic proteins also. And since we, since it is a comes under pharmacology, we have to know everything about the protein. It is also called as a protein pharmacology. All these are the new terms. You you, can, you will not believe. I will tell you one point. Eh? I will show you in this seminar, I will show you some of the drugs which you never come across it in your life. Never come across it. Number of examples are there. I will show you number of examples. Okay. Not this ordinary paracetamol, ibuprofen, not all these things. That is ordinary students will know about the chemical drugs or chemical. But you know that level is different. This level is different. It is a high level. Level is completely different. Higher level. Okay. Right. Yeah, complete all my presentations are nothing but notes that is available in the Google Play Store in my mobile app that you can be downloaded from the Google Play Store. Go to the store option, see here, store option, uh, and you can select the course. Automatically, uh, you will get all my presentations, which whenever I will upload. This is about my YouTube channel. Go to the playlist option. In the playlist, I have explained all, I have arranged all my explanation videos. Okay. The subject wise, if you click on each subject, you will get a topic wise. Yeah, what are the contents I have covered? See, this is your syllabus protein drugs, protein drugs, introduction, classification. There is a very big classification, is there? I will tell you along with the examples in the each class. I will tell you very interesting uh, classification. Advantages come applications. Both I mixed here because if you want the students want to read applications separately, advantages separate, it is very difficult. They will feel the students are very busy nowadays. So, and evolution, okay, and that is a finally how evolution development. Yeah, why we are calling as a therapeutic protein? See, my dear students, proteins generally, general, in general, more number of for, uh, for works we are using a protein, but majorly we are using for the four purposes proteins. See here. General uses of a proteins in our regular life. First one is a nutritional food. You can see the milk and eggs here. Proteins, proteins, proteins. These are called as a nutritional proteins. First one, nutritional protein. Next is to deliver the drug in our body. Proteins we are using uh, to deliver the medicines in our body. So protein drug delivery system. See here, protein. See how this uh, one scooter is going on. Road is there. Food ring uh, is there and it is entering into the blood vessel. See here, blood vessel, he want to deliver the medicine into the blood vessels. Okay. And the third one is a treatment of the diseases. Insulin, I given the number. Insulin is actually protein, but we are using as a medicine. Everybody know. This is a starting example. Insulin is a starting example, basic example for this. Okay. And a diagnostic purpose to know the disease status. Okay, this is called as a diagnostic proteins. So four types of proteins you have to write in the examination without fail. Protein drugs introduction, I will tell you. Most of the medicines are chemical molecules like this paracetamol, ibuprofen, all these things. But only a few proteins have a medicinal property, see insulin. Okay, but you have to note that all proteins are not medicines. All medicines are not proteins. Very, very important point. And chemical molecule drugs having a more side effects, we know. But when compared to, but proteins, no, very less or no side effects are there. See, here you can see the definition. Proteins are, see, there, I will introduce one term. Protein engineering. Protein engineering. Conferences also going on. See, protein engineering congress. 
conference has conducted protein engineering the engineer will manipulate the protein he should have a knowledge of the both engineering as well as the pharmacy protein drugs are proteins that are engineered see that are engineered in the laboratory for the treatment of various diseases we are taking protein we will manipulate the protein we will adjust the protein and we will give to the uh, patients okay in the human body definition these are the proteins that has an effect of healing in the human body they have effect of the healing on the human body they have therapeutic action that's why these are called as a therapeutic protein they are highly effective in vivo in vivo have revolutionary treatment of the diseases they can be help used to replace the defective proteins in our body who can replace you, you catch the patient you remove the defective proteins and you give the corrected proteins okay abnormal proteins which are functioned which are not functioning that uh, those those defective proteins you can be removed you can replace it human insulin for example a person patient is sugar patient having a insulin he is naturally producing a insulin but that insulin is defective so now what you have to do you have to give extra insulin okay uh, recombinant insulin we are giving insulin protein so these are the example that's why here this is a insulin structure i have shown you classification of protein therapeutics i don't know who this who classified this very beautiful and very intelligent four groups he arranged number 1 group 1 protein therapeutics it is nothing but protein therapeutics with enzymatic activity or regulatory activity enzymatic activity proteins are having a enzymatic activity or proteins are having a regulatory activity it regulates our body functions body functions those are the first group see and second one protein therapeutics with special targeting activity it targets it one hits the once you target the fix okay just like bullet it goes and uh, uh, hits the target in our body third one is protein vaccine fourth one protein diagnostics see in the first one enzymatic or regulatory activity replacing a protein that is a deficient or that is abnormal Na number two increasing that is the first one defective we are removing second one augmenting the existing protein pathway see augmenting means increasing increasing may we will make it fast and third one providing a novel function protein which produces a new function like that we can design new functional activity and here interfering with the molecule or organism delivery of the other compounds or proteins see delivery of other compounds delivery of the proteins interfering with the molecular molecule or organism these are the proteins specially designed okay protein vaccines that uh, we know all these things autoimmune diseases treating the cancer 1 2 3 4 again sub classes 1a 1b 1c 2a 2b 3a 3b 3c 4 don't change the order order is very very important in the examination also first a one a see here sub class directly replacing a protein that is defective or abnormal i will show you humulin insulin this is a humulin which is prepared in the laboratory genetically engineered it regulates the glucose shifts the potassium it shifts the potassium into the cells diabetes mellitus diabetic keratosis and next one is ins insulin human inhalation insulin we are going to be insulation exubera exubera see here exubera breathe your insulin see the name here given breathe your insulin we are being instead of taking a regular injection we are see how we have made the thing and one b augmenting increasing the existing pathway example is erythropoietin epoxen brand name a portion procrit okay all these examples must you have to write in the examination stimulates the erythropoiesis see augmenting name itself indicate augmenting increasing so here also stimulating the erythropoiesis chronic anemia diseases anemia due to the renal failure okay and hcg ovidrol hcg ovidrel see here all names a portion a portion ovidrel ovidrel hcg human chorionic it stimulates the ovarian follicle see sometimes our body is failure to stimulate the ovarian follicle now we are giving this protein to stimulate augmenting assisted reproduction it helps and botox 
botox here botox v shape injection beautiful face you will get very attractive and beautiful face botox it uh, rx for the dystonia cosmetics use very very cosmetic use and papaya papaya is accusem here accusem ointment we are using along with the urea see here papaya plus urea both we are mixing here protease from carica papaya fruit depleted necro necrotic tissue some of the dead tissue if you want to remove dead tissue diabetic ulcers diabetic uh, burns cyst wounds for all this purpose we are using 2a interfering with the molecular organism bevacizumab bevacizumab cetuximab see here cetuximab brand name is erbitux erbitux avastin see here avastin bevacizumab humanized uh, function this is a monoclonal antibody bites all informs okay and humanized bites with the egfr it is a colorectal cancer we are using for the treatment of the colorectal cancer biggest problem in india colorectal cancer head and neck cancer also we are using delivering of the other uh, compounds or protein we are using on tac see here on tac on tac injection denyl leukine see here denyl leukine see denyl leukine it directs the cytosidal action of the diphtheria toxin to cells it persistent resistant t cell lymphoma cancer it is also malignant cells here malignant cells this is also we are using for to get the follicular or beta cells uh, hot skins this is also jevalin see jevalin ipri ipri tumo mab and uh, protecting for the deleterious foreign agents like hepatitis b vaccine it protects from the foreign agents 3a hepatitis b okay enjerex enjerex recombi vax see here recombi vax for the hp hepatitis b okay non functional protein on the specific beta okay right and treating the autoimmune diseases this is for anti rashes immunoglobulin rophilac see here this is the name rophilac what it contains this is immunoglobulin we are using for the routine anti parchum post parchum prevention of rhd in those rhd native women group 4 protein diagnosis we are using for the diagnostic purpose recombinant purified protein derivative we are using for the diagnosis of tuberculosis number 2 jerf we are using to diagnose the defective growth hormone either the hormone is defective or not like that we can we guess with the help of this diagnosis protein drugs advantages no side effects less side effects simple and effective treatment it is a gene therapy in gene therapy we are what we are doing is a genes we will remove the genes and we will put the genes gene therapy see here editing we are going to editing we are going to manipulate the gene but here instead of cutting and making the genes here we are giving a proteins which is corrected proteins we are giving highly specific in action that is a speciality highly specific less interfere with the normal bi biological process less side effects highly specific in function see here action and function our body naturally produces a many proteins in our regular life that go hence protein drugs are well accepted well tolerated in our body almost no rejection by the immune system immune system will not be there. faster clinical development by the fda approval permits the individualized treatment uh, individualized person to person treatment is also possible clinical pharmacokinetics this is called as a many problems uh, with the uh, chemical molecules will not be seen here okay and the protein this is a evolution in the year and how it was developed a road map uh, from 18 uh, from 1953 to how they have developed first accurate dna suggested human insulin is created in the dna technology okay this is a evolution not the evaluation evolution means development okay right